Hi mom, surprise! This Black History Month, your friends, colleagues, and family want to recognize all you've done to flip the script in the media industry. Talk about flipping the script. You are writing the script. You, my friend, are a trailblazer. Navigating the business as a black woman is a thing. Man, did I learn through trial and error, and I'm still learning now. Tracy, girl, don't get shy on us now. We are celebrating you. With the murder of George Floyd, a topic of race was on everyone's minds, but I didn't want to do this special then. I wanted to wait until the Black Lives Matter hashtag started to wane, and here we are. You see it, you stand up, you speak out. I just want to point out that a conversation like this, spanning networks, has rarely been done before in Canada, and certainly not with a panel of black women. But what I love most about Tracy Moore is how much she upholds and supports women, especially black women. You lift as you rise. We are all so much better because of you, Trace, because of your empathy, because of your leadership. Being the first black woman to host a daytime lifestyle show in Canada, that alone is such inspiration. Oh, you guys look good today. I remember having the conversation with Tracy, encouraging her to audition. She pushes us to stand in the now, do more, ask more. You feel like you can just be real and, and, and sort of put yourself out there. She gave me the confidence to think that I could make it in the industry one day. And so fast forward a few years and I'm a producer at City Line. Getting to meet her has been wonderful. She is just as sweet and smart as she is on TV. She is the living embodiment of the Toni Morrison quote, once you're free, your job is to free somebody else. I am standing here. I have the career that I have because of Tracy Moore. She allowed me to believe that my dreams were valid just from her existence and her presence and the space that she takes up in Canadian media. I am so, so grateful for the work that she does, her tireless efforts for our community, but also just the joy that she radiates on screen. This week, for the entire week, we are committed to flooding you with images and stories of black joy. All right, everyone, let's do this. We are getting City Line Real, and it starts with this face. Eyelashes gone! Thank you for giving of yourself to the media industry, for constantly showing up as your authentic, badass black girl self, for having an opinion sometimes in places when it's not popular, for giving a voice to the voiceless. Has anyone gotten that lecture from their parents? Right, only the black people. <laughs> You inspire me to build connection through storytelling while showcasing black <laughs> joy and uplifting others all in the process. I am so grateful for you. I also love that you taught me and my sister growing up that we should always be proud of who we are. I think that you live your life unapologetically. From the way you live your life professionally and personally, you do it on your terms and you are living your best life. Tracy, that is inspiration. You have won the City Line Scholarship for Being the first ever recipient of the BIPOC Women Scholarship for City Line has changed my, my life in so many ways and you're an inspiration, you are a leader. And as a black woman, you have guided this inter industry with grace. You've been supporting so many people, so many businesses. You're mentoring young people coming into the industry, always trying to flip the script. And I just want to tell you that I know it's not easy. The media industry loves winning formulas and you always try to change the formula to add diversity and we're very proud of you. I know we've all been affected by it in different ways. Tracy, you represent black excellence. I am so proud that you are a reference for my young ladies on the rise so they can see what they can become. Such a raw space that I'm still feeling it now, you know? There is something so destabilizing about being told you are almost perfect for this job, but just a little too black. And that's how I felt. And I love that we are learning and growing all together. Thank you for being bold. Thank you for being compassionate. Thank you for being so thoughtful in how you hold space for difficult conversations and people who are not comfortable with having those conversations. This Black History Month, we celebrate you. It wouldn't be the same without you being in our community. You make and celebrate Black History Month 
all the time. You know? I, I, I can't wait to see everything that you're gonna do and you continue to do. And I know you've been such a trailblazer for myself, for many others and many others to come. So we just wanna say thank you, Tracy. You're an inspiration to us and we love you. Oh, you guys are a bunch of jerks. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. And in my mind, I'm like, do we have the time uh, for this? Like, is there enough time in the show for us to do this? Oh, my gosh. That was beautiful and completely unexpected. You all always find a way to touch my heart. And um, this is what I'm here to do. So I'm happy. It's, if it's working, then I'm doing the job that I'm supposed to be doing. So thank you so much. And happy Black History Month to everyone. Thanks, Carr. You're welcome, Tracy. We love you. Thank you for all that you do. I know, you know, there are days where you may not have the words and the weight might feel heavy, but we wanted to just gift you those public flowers to let you know how much you love us and how much we pray and love and support you. Um, I know sometimes it might be pressure in terms of carrying the weight, but what does it feel like to receive your public flowers? You know, you've seen me receive some public flowers before at my birthday party, and honestly, it always feels very sobering um, because I don't think any of us wake up in the morning and say, well, I'm going to change the world today. But when you feel like the, all of those small actions actually add up to something, it makes it all worth it. And so I'm, I'm happy I can be in this space and be responsible and be doing what I'm supposed to be doing in these spaces especially as the world gets scarier and scarier. So I'm just really happy that I'm yeah. here and I've been able to, to stay here for all these years. I mean, I thought I was going to be at City TV for a year, in and out, and um, but it's been 16 now <laughs> at City TV. So obviously I like it here. Um, and obviously the, the station has been amazing about allowing me to have a voice and to be who I am within these walls. So, and that happens behind the camera. It's happening in front of the camera. It's happening with the producers on the show. Everyone is just this incredible support system. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm happy I can be here and be doing the work that I'm doing. <sighs> I feel like We're I've cried so enough. We're so thrilled you here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, happy Black History Month. We love you. <laughs> I love you all, too. Happy Black History Month, everyone. Thanks for having me.